Black Daniela on Design started as a diary. It's a personal account of my experiences in the world of design. In this season, my post is going to concentrate on interior design, which is one of my favorite areas. I'm drawn particularly to interiors that carry narrative, that have stories. Tonight I feel highly never before. Combining art and well-designed objects within the interior has become a crucial practice because they provide the space with soul, with life, and bring layers and layers into the interiors, making them more interesting to look at and more interesting to live in. I got a house in the country, a house in the town. Taxis that drive me bold. It is the objects that lift the interiors from the ordinary into the extraordinary and they enable designers to create personal homes for their clients that are unique and at the same time also reflect their own voice. Amy Lau is one of them. Amy, when I see this home, I sense the curator in you. Why is it important to have that scale of a curator today when designing homes, interiors? The clients that I work with today really collect art and design at the highest level, museum quality. So I think today's interior designer requires a designer to evaluate and look at connoisseurships and to apply those skills in creating collections in interior design. Isn't this amazing? This is cast bronze. So they're all, when you think of like um, Pollock and you think of when he flicks painting, paint, this is where metal has been flicked. This is Silas Sindal, who's one of our great metal fabricators. He lives in Chelsea. He's in about his 70s and he's highly collectible. Along with recognizing the taste of your client, I can also sense you on signature style. How do you negotiate between those two realities? I find myself almost being like an archeologist or a journalist. We walk a room, what is it that they want that room to feel like? I look at what they're wearing, the amount of color they're wearing, if they have certain kind of finishes that they have on, maybe a watch detail or a belt buckle. I'm almost an investigator taking notes on all of these, so I'm making sure that I really am channeling them explicitly. You see a mixture of a lot of different things. My clients, um, it's a husband and wife, and they're big collectors of African American art. So you see a variety of pieces for the collection. And this interesting bookshelf was created to highlight all of that. But you see mixed in our beautiful ceramics. Some are Scandinavian, some are American. You see some mineral pieces mixed in. You see some glass. And all of this coloring I took as inspiration for a painting that you see by John Marin over here with these beautiful colors of blues and greens. And I even went so far to have all the fabrics in here hand dyed with that coloring. Um, I also took in account the Hudson River. So if you look out at the Hudson River, you'll see all those colors in this total environment here. You love color? I do. You do? I can see that. Do you think color is for everybody? I think that everyone can live with color. I apply percentages to my interior. So let's say if I think somebody can't take too much color, I'll spend about 80% 
doing on neutrals. So that means all the paint colors, maybe all the upholstery, but I'll apply 20% color where I accent, maybe I upholster a chair with something or I add in a piece of art. I loved this particular chair by Warren Plattner because of the bronze base and how it does really look like sculpture. And in this room, um, it has a dialogue with this kind of brutalist um, piece right here, this brutalist lamp you see, and some of uh, this sculpture over here that looks kind of Bertoia-esque. Um, and I thought it'd be so much fun to pop like this cherry color and with this shag carpet and juxtaposed next to a color that we're using here in this velvet mohair. <laughs> Not only do you create interiors, but you also design fabrics. I know you recently have designed a line of carpets. Why is it important for you to be in all of these arenas? The French have a word to describe my approach to interior design that's called ensemble, And that is creating an interior with the total works of art. It's for me to start to design these specific pieces in the interior so I can create total couture for my clients.